Hi everybody, Amy here from Knit Collage. I am super excited to be back here with the last video. We're gonna dive into just how to join in the fall knit along and a few important surprise details too. So if you let me know which design you're thinking about making, thank you so much. I got some Instagram messages, I got some vlog comments. I'm super excited to kick things off. Just in case you missed that last video, I dove deep into how our yarns are made and by whom. We talked about the process in detail, and then I shared about each of the designs we'll be making as part of this knit along and what you can expect to learn in the video courses that I teach. Accompanying that video is a blog post where I share the details on fit, sizing, pricing, and colors. So I'm gonna link to all of that below, just in case you feel up for perusing those options early, feel free to ask me any questions too. Okay, so imagine that you've just got home from a long and stressful day out in the world. You grab your knitting needles and your yarn and you immediately feel a sense of calm wash over you. You sit down, open up your Knit Along community page and see familiar faces and encouraging messages from fellow knitters and the Knit Collage coaches. Each stitch you make is a step towards a beautiful creation and you're not doing it alone. You're part of this community that's cheering you on, celebrating your progress and sharing their own knitting journeys too. Our community and our team is a supportive, creative sanctuary where you can escape, unwind, and create beautiful handmade pieces. Learning new skills can be daunting, especially when you don't have the right tools and support. It's easy to lose momentum with your project when you make a mistake that you don't know how to fix, or when you face a tricky technique that you've never done before and you don't know how to do it. What I've learned along the way after seven years and 15 knit alongs is that having the right video tutorials that correlate to the exact pattern you're working on, as well as in the moment expert coaching and an encouraging community to support you and hold you accountable makes all the difference. Our knit along experience is all about getting you to that finished object, or something we call an FO in the knitting world. And we want that FO for you to be something that you love and adore. Once you finish, that FO is an amazing piece to love and rock out in the world, but you're going to notice some amazing things that happen from diving into that deep knitting practice that got you to the FO. Your making practice becomes a tool that you can come back to anytime to welcome peace, calm, and more creativity into your life. This knit along, we have a few virtual events that are, that are kind of tangential to this idea. There are ideas that I'm really passionate about that I love sharing about in these community events and seem to mesh really well. So these are for you to join in or for you to opt out of it. Nothing is meant to be preachy. It's really just about using our time together within the six week knit along experience as a time to set a new intention, practice slowing down and deeper relaxation. And lastly, as a time to wake up that creative inner artist within. So I want to dive into what these events will be. I've got five of them planned and I just, yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> so before we begin, the week before we begin, I am going to lead you in a restorative yoga class. I am a yoga teacher by training that I got during the pandemic and I really only use my yoga teacher training to teach restorative yoga. It's my favorite kind where we just lay on really comfortable pillows with blankets and relax. I'm going to share some readings that center around the theme of slowing down and being more present and tapping into our inner creative artist. So I'm excited for that. We've got one right before we start and then one midway through the knit along. Then we have an event with Emma Janet of Bloom and Create. She's a pattern designer that we've worked with before in the past, and she's going to guide us through an intention setting workshop. This is not meant to be anything that really stresses you out. It's meant to be, okay, I'm setting an intention for the next six weeks to slow down a little bit, to 
get a little bit out of my box creatively in a way that I've never done before over the next six weeks. None of it is meant to be harsh or rigid. And finally, we have two journaling events that I will be leading. The first one is going to have a theme of slowing down and why that's so hard in our world today and how we can facilitate more of that within our lives. And then the second one is going to be around that idea that I love, which is just waking up your inner creative. And we'll be journaling on that and having a discussion on that. So I'm super excited for these events and I so hope that you'll join in and join me for them. Over the past year or so, I have connected with some past knit along participants and participants of our many knit alongs, which we call challenges. And I'm gonna share some excerpts and quotes from them as well as video and audio clips where they talk about their favorite aspects of these community learning events. After this, we're gonna dive into exactly how to join in and get involved. So as I read these, I'm gonna share some photos of triumphant knitters and crocheters from previous make-alongs. Get ready for instant smiles. They are on top of the world in their stunning finished projects. Okay, so let's kick off with a quote from Eileen. From Eileen, I am the person who hadn't knit in almost 20 years and decided to re-enter the scene with the entrelock pillow. So side note, this is not a beginner project. <laughs> At best, I was an advanced beginner when I stopped knitting. Entrelock wasn't even on my radar. I want you to know that this Dream River pillow experience with you and the Knit Collage team was fabulous. It has energized me to knit again and to knit with joy. In the past, I was often frustrated because I didn't know how to do a stitch or technique and I had to go through seemingly a gazillion YouTube videos until I found the right one for me. Or I had to wait until I could go see one of my friends who knit so that they could help me. Your videos are great. It's easy to see how you are knitting a stitch and your explanations are easy to understand. I've watched some of the videos many, many times. I loved the Facebook group too. I posted pictures of my progress a few times. People were so encouraging, even if it was only to say how much they liked my color combination. It was the same on the Zooms. On the first or second Zoom, after people showed their finished or almost finished pillows, I put myself out there to show my barely started pillow. When I was having trouble with the tension on my pearl stitches, people on the Zoom made me feel so at home and gave me helpful suggestions. I really felt the love whenever I shared my progress, even though I was behind so many of the other knitters. With all of the support and encouragement, I never once felt like I couldn't finish the pillow. I never once felt discouraged. I hope to do a future project with Knit Collage. Thank you for getting me back into knitting. I am forever grateful. Eileen. Okay, and now we're gonna dive in to some videos and audio quotes from Evelyn, Monica, and Kelly. I love the community. I love the product. You guys have amazing yarn and for a newbie knitter who learned how to knit in pearl three weeks ago, I am just completely blown away by the fact that I have such an incredible looking bag. Thank you so much for creating this maker space and super supportive community. Hi there. Um, I just loved everything about this challenge. Um, as you know, it was my first knitting project ever and first time reading a pattern. And I've always just been kind of intimidated about learning. I love that you're learning the skills and being able to apply them to your project. So it just makes a lot of sense when, as you go along, the videos were phenomenal, super clear. I have looked at videos um, for crochet. I was trying to learn how to crochet, still haven't done anything in crochet either, but I've looked at videos in, on YouTube and I have to say that your videos have been the best, the most clear. I love the pace. They were easy to follow along. 
I loved the Facebook community. I loved the community and I loved seeing everybody's bags and how much support you got with whenever I did post, there was just so much support. So it was just really wonderful. I will definitely be doing this again just to, to continue on my learning journey. So thank you so much. And um, yeah, I'm obsessed. <laughs> My name is Kelly and I'm from California and this is my very first knit challenge and I absolutely loved it. My um, mom was the one who actually saw the challenge originally and she's the knitter of the family and it's something I've tried to pick up and, and do so I can do something with her and spend some more quality time with her. So she said, hey, do this one on your own and so I did. I've always admired the knit collage yarns and so I looked at the Joy Bomb orange and I said this must be the perfect yarn for this and I went with it and I think what I loved about it was just how encouraging the entire community was to have access to experts such as yourselves and it never felt like any question or issue what felt like oh you know you should know how to do this. It was always taken in stride and I think, you know, taught from an incredible level. And I really appreciated the experience. And I really, in particular, appreciated the community on Facebook that was so encouraging. And I loved seeing people's inspiration and their projects as we went along and, you know, not feeling guilty that I was a little behind. So I think at the end of it, it just makes me think about what can I knit next? And I'm really excited to do that. All right, so it has been a blast creating these videos and sharing exactly what our knit alongs are all about. I want to invite you to go further and join us. Here are the exact details of how to join in this knit along experience. I'll be opening up registration on Tuesday, October 15th 2024 at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. The patterns and kits that are part of this fall knit along are available exclusively to our knit along participants for about six months to a year. The 22nd of October is the final day to join in and then the fun begins. Then we start making things in community as a group and it's gonna be a blast. All right, so I want to dive into the amazing things one more time that you get when you join in the knit along. If you go for a yarn kit, you are going to get the yarn that goes along with the sweater pattern you've chosen, as well as a little notions bag we've put together. This has a logo tape measure, a very cool iridescent sticker, stitch markers, and a darning needle. You'll also get your bundle wrapped in beautiful trims that I source when I go to the markets in India. And this time around, we have custom wrapping, the whole custom packaging situation for this knit along. I think it's worth joining in just for that alone because it's so cool. <laughs> but I'm not gonna tell you any more details. So you'll also get the four knit along patterns as well as the four bonus greatest hit patterns and a video course that goes along with each of those patterns. That will be over 160 video tutorials included in that. It's a huge amount and they are yours forever. You'll get a rough knitting schedule and checklist to follow if you like. This time around, we're going to give you the gauge and the gauge tutorials early so that you can start working on your gauge swatches before our official cast on day if you want to. This is feedback we've gotten in the past. We're gonna try it this time. Totally optional, but if you'd like to, you can join into accountability small groups where we pair a more experienced knitter with one that's more of a beginner. You'll get our private Facebook group and our Instagram, potentially our app. We're waiting to see if we can get that ready. That, that is where we host our community. So one of those places. You'll get the live coaching calls three times a week with myself and our in-house coaches, Cheryl and Pia. There are three per week throughout the duration of the six week knit along. Those five extra Zooms that I mentioned as well that are all about creativity, slowing down, and waking up that inner artist. So how it works, as soon as you order a kit, you're going to receive an instantaneous email from us 
with a welcome booklet detailing the resources available to you and all the nitty gritty details about the knit along. Your yarn and kit will be shipped right out to you in the order that it came in. Our official cast on date is November 3rd. We wanna give everyone time to get their yarn and we will have people joining us from all over the world. So November 3rd is the official cast on day. One thing to consider is that in the past, many of the yarns go really quickly, especially the colorways that the samples are knit up in or any kind of neutral colors. Typically within the first two hours, we see some colorways completely gone. This year, we don't have too many of the new yarns, the mini skein sampler kits, and the spun clouds. So just something to keep in mind. If you wanna make sure you get the color you want, I encourage you to order right when we open things up on the 15th at 10 a.m. Eastern time. We do have lots of payment options that I wanna talk about. There's shop pay option and after pay where you have the option to pay in three or four increments over the course of a few months. And there's no added interest to do that. I use this method all the time myself. If you'd like to, we've got the option for you to order needles that go along with the pattern you've chosen as well as a hook. And we have a lot of our favorite tools up on the site. So. I think a tool you can't live without in our world is the needle felting pen and a needle felting mat, but we'll also have things to go with your patterns like beautiful buttons from local Rhode Island business Katrinkles and the jewelry designer Joe Wadler, who we adore. So we've got lots of things if your sweater needs buttons. I think I've covered it. Please feel free to ask me any questions if you have any. I want to go through three of the most frequently asked questions that I get so that we can just cover those right now. What if I am a beginner? Can I still join in? So you can absolutely join in if you're a beginner. I am going to give you our Knitting 101 and our Crochet 101 course, so you'll have those. You can start from scratch. I think the process is a bit easier if you know the knit and the purl stitch, but many people have done it and you can do it and we'll be happy to help you. Okay, next question. What if I don't finish in time? Okay, this happens, right? Life gets in the way, it's happened to me countless times and it's all good. So the patterns are of course, they're yours forever as well as the video courses. We do shut down the Facebook group, the community about a month after our official end of the knit along, but the knit collage coaches and myself will be happy to help you with your project anytime until you finish it. You just contact us directly. Okay, another question I get, this is the last one I get, is what if I want to join virtually? What if I have my own yarn already? What if I'm you know, a hand spinner or I have stash, I have yarn from another project, or maybe you live somewhere that's really far away with super expensive shipping from the States. Totally get that. Join in with any yarn you like, please do that. We have a virtual option that is $88 where you get all the video courses and the live Zooms and the community. Um, you just don't get the yarn. I wanna encourage you to join in and do that with us. Um, the most important thing is you get gauged with the yarn that you've chosen and you'll have that gauge information. And of course, we'll be happy to answer any questions you might have if you have questions about yarn and gauge. All right, so I think that's everything I got through all the FAQs. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email, leave me a comment below, send me a direct message on Instagram. I'll be so happy to help you. I am so excited to kick this off. I can't wait. I have a really good feeling about this one. It's just gonna be our best yet. So I so hope that you'll join me. I can't wait. All right, thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>